Welcome. Welcome to the Plasma Physics course of EPFL. Today we are going to talk about Vlasov equation. We will derive Vlasov equation from Boltzmann equation. We will uh, deduce the conservation laws that can be applied to Vlasov equation. We will interpret the Vlasov equation and we will give some formal solution of it. So Boltzmann equation states that, that the derivative with respect to time of the distribution function is due to the streaming of particles in velocity in, in configuration space plus the streaming in velocity space due to the long range electric and magnetic forces and also taking into account the short range forces that are associated with collisions. Now, as we have seen, collisions can typically play a less crucial role in determining the dynamics of a plasma than the long range forces. And therefore, if, if collisions can be neglected, which is the case where the number of particles in a Debye cube is really, really large, larger than what is uh, required by the definition of a plasma, so large that uh, collisions can be completely neglected. Then we can set the collision operator to zero. We obtain the reform. An equation an equation that is called the Vlasov equation and which is one of the fundamental equations in plasma physics. Now for simplicity of notation We will denote uh, the electric field due to long range interaction simply as E and similarly the magnetic field due to long range interaction as B. We won't forget however that the electric and magnetic field that enter into Vlasov equation are the one due to long range interaction. Vlasov equation has then to be coupled to Maxwell equation and in fact one can define the charge density rho as the sum over all species present in our system of Qs, the charge of each particle times the integral over the velocity space of Fs R V and T. And similarly for the current density we will have that J will be given by the sum over all species of the charge of each species times the integral of the velocity of the particle averaged according to their distribution. What are the properties of Vlasov equation? Let's give a look at the conservation properties of, uh, for the distribution function as it's evolved by the Vlasov equation. Vlasov equation that we have just derived uh, can be written as uh, this and then uh, there are some conservation properties that uh, are satisfied by the uh, by the Vlasov equation that we can study first of all uh, uh, there is a conservation of total number of particles that is uh, satisfied by the by the Vlasov equation 
In fact, if we integrate over all space, configuration space, and over all velocity, the Vlasov equation, then we obtain for the time derivative, the time, the integral over all space, over all velocity of dfs over dt, plus for the term related to the streaming in configuration space, we have the integral over all space, over all velocity of v dot dfs dr and then there is the streaming term in velocity space now let's consider the three terms uh, here separately let's start from the first one we can take out the time derivative from the two integral signs and we will have in fact that d over dt over first the configuration space and over the velocity space of fs this double integral actually is equal to the total number of particles and the therefore this is equal to the time derivative of ns the total number of particles in S. For what concerns the term related to the streaming in phase space? Well, we have seen that we can bring the velocity term inside the d over dr term. Velocity and space, configuration space, are two independent variables in uh, coordinates of the phase space. The therefore, this can be written as the integral over dr, then the integral over dv of uh, the divergence of vfs. Now we can use uh, the divergence theorem to carry out the integral over the configuration space and uh, well this integral will be reconducted to an integral over the surface that extends at infinity and if we assume that the distribution function once we go we push our surface of uh, interest to infinity the case to zero then this integral will give, will be equal to zero. Finally, the integral related to the uh, streaming of particles in velocity space, and this will be given by the double integral over configuration space and velocity space of, uh, now let me do it that immediately, we can bring, uh, as we've seen, the first term inside the d over dv operator because e is independent of v and v cross b is perpendicular to v. Therefore, I can write this as the divergence in velocity space of qs ms e plus v cross b. And here, here we can again uh, use the divergence theorem to evaluate this uh, volume integral, a volume in velocity space, uh, as an integral over the surface that extends to infinity. And as there are, there are no particles with, which have an infinite velocity, the surface, of, uh, the surface integral of this uh, uh, term of this expression here will got will be zero and therefore the whole expression here will be equal to zero conclusion is that uh, one just one term survives uh, that is uh, dns over dt which is equal to zero 
particles are conserved. Analogously, we won't prove it rigorously, but let me just mention that there is a Vlasov equation implies the conservation of momentum. In fact, if we consider the total momentum of our system, that is equal to the sum of the momentum of the particles associated with particles plus the momentum of the field, that is uh, for the particle for the momentum of particles equal to the sum over all species of uh, ms the integral over the full configuration space and the full velocity space of the momentum of the particles takes into account v according to their distribution how they are distributed in the phase space plus the momentum associated with the electric field, that is the momentum of the pointing vector, that has to be integrated over all configuration space. Well, all these, this total momentum is a conserved quantity. Besides the conservation of the total number of particles and the conservation of the total uh, momentum, there are other quantities that are conserved by Vlasov equation, in particular energy and entropy. Let's give a look at those. For what concerns the conservation of energy? We have to define a total energy which is the sum of the kinetic energy of the particles plus the energy associated with the electric and magnetic field. The total kinetic energy will be given by the sum of our own species of the integral of the distribution function over the full configuration space, velocity space of one half the kinetic energy of a particles with velocity v weighted according to the distribution function. And then we will have to add to this the energy of the electric and magnetic field. That is the integral over the full configuration space of the energy associated with the electric field plus the energy associated with the magnetic field. And this is a conserved quantity. We won't prove it rigorously, but let me point out this property that is fairly fundamental. And finally, let me also state another property of Vlasov equation, that is that entropy is conserved. We define entropy, the total entropy of the system, according to the typical definition that is given in information theory. The therefore as minus the sum over all species of the integral over all space, configuration space, all velocity of fs, the distribution function, times the lo natural logarithm of fs. Now, we won't prove it uh, rigorously, but let me state that uh, if we evaluate uh, the time derivative of this function with respect to time of the total entropy, which is uh, therefore if you take the derivative inside, uh, the integral is uh, the time derivative of df s dt natural logarithm of the distribution function plus dfs dt. Well, if you carry out uh, this calculation, take into account that fs satisfies Volazov equation, then what you find is that this ds dt is equal to zero. Therefore, Vlasov equation 
describes time reversible processes. Why is that? Why is that fundamentally? Because dissipative processes, collisional processes, have been neglected in Vlasov equations. Having focused on the conservation properties implied by Vlasov equation, we can now give a look, give a look at how Vlasov equation can be physically interpreted. There are actually two interpretations, two physical interpretations of the Vlasov equation that I would like to point out. The first one is associated to the fact that as it's described by Vlasov equation, the, the motion of Fs, the distribution function, is incompressible. In fact, if we take the divergence into six-dimensional space of U, U is at the six-dimensional velocity that we have uh, introduced in the module uh, deriving Boltzmann equation. That will be d over dx of the divergence of v plus the divergence of the velocity of in velocity space of the acceleration. That will be equal to zero. This is because uh, the velocity, as we have said, is independent of the uh, is an independent phase space coordinate than the space uh, configuration space uh, and. Uh, Forces uh, are given by the electric and uh, the sum of the electric and magnetic forces. The electric fo field does not depend on V. The Lorentz force is perpendicular to V and therefore also this divergence term is equal to zero. What does it mean in practice? Well, if we look at the evolution of the particle distribution function in uh, velocity space, that I am considering here, and uh, which I am projecting the six-dimensional space over the 2D plane that uh, we can deal with, and therefore where we consider here the projection of uh, the configuration uh, space coordinate and velocity coordinate. So if we consider a small volume in the phase space, these uh, the particles that are contained in this volume will be displaced as a function of time. And if we look at the volume that this particle will occupy after a certain time, well, we may find that, that the, it, uh, it may have changed its shape. However, the volume that is contained that contains these particles will be the same. The motion is incompressible. There is another interpretation that I would like to point out of Vlasov equation. In this, uh, in order to obtain uh, this, to look at this interpretation, what we have to do is to look at the variation of the distribution function along the particle orbit. More precisely, what we want to evaluate is the time derivative of the distribution function as seen by a particle traveling over its orbit. This will be given by taking into account uh, the definition of convective derivative that we have here, will be given by the explicit time derivative of uh, Fs plus by using the chain rule, uh, the derivative of the uh, position in configuration space with respect to time along a particle orbit, dot dfs over dr, plus the derivative with respect to time of the velocity with along a particle orbit times dfs dv. This is equal to, okay, we want to work on uh, the explicit time derivative, that's fine as it is. So what is uh, the derivative with respect to time of the particle position 
if we are moving along with the particles, well, this will be given by the velocity of the particle dot dfs dr plus, okay, what is the derivative with respect to time of the velocity when we are uh, moving with the particles, that will be equal to the acceleration of the particle, that is the force acting on the particle divided by ms, the mass dot dfs dv. This therefore will be equal to dfs dt plus v dot dfs dr plus we can explicitly write the first term that is given by the sum of the electric and magnetic forces and the interesting thing is that here, what you have obtained is actually Vlasov equation. And therefore, as Fs is evolving according to Vlasov equation, T is, because of Vlasov, has to be equal to zero. What does it mean? It means that according to Vlasov equation, Fs, the distribution function, has measured... when moving along a particle trajectory is constant we have uh, looked uh, at the conservation properties associated with Vlasov equation we have looked at the possible interpretation of Vlasov equation now it's time to give a look if, uh, if there are a, a solution of Vlasov equation. Surprisingly, there are many, many solutions of Vlasov equation. In fact, uh, if uh, C, J are constant of motion, for J that goes from 1 to 2 to a big number, maybe J, hmm, then... Uh, what I'm going to show is that fs, a distribution function, that is a function of this cj, c1, c2, cn, cj, capital J, is a solution of Vlasov equation. In fact, if we try to inject this distribution function into Vlasov equation and therefore we evaluate uh, the time derivative of a phase the streaming in uh, phase in configuration space uh, and in velocity space which as we have just seen is equal to time the time derivative of the distribution function as seen from the particle orbit, then what we have, because uh, by using the chain's rule, that the derivative with respect to time of the distribution function along the particle orbit will be equal to the derivative of S Fs with respect to C1 times the derivative of C1 with respect to time as evaluated along the particle orbit plus the derivative of Fs with respect to C2 times the derivative of C2 with respect to time as evaluated along the particle orbit plus all the other derivative until dfs over the c capital j times the derivative with respect to time of cj along particle orbit now as c1 c2 c3 c cj are constant of motion we will have that the time derivative of this function as evaluated along the particle orbit is equal to zero. Therefore, all this quantity will be equal to zero. In other terms, 
the distribution function that we have just defined satisfies Vlasov equation. It's a solution of Vlasov equation. To make things a bit more concrete, let's give some examples. For example, let's consider the case where, of a system where there is no magnetic nor electric field. What we will have in this case is that Vx, Vy, and Vz are constants of motion, which implies that uh, any function of Vx, Vy, Vz is a solution of Vlasov equation. Maybe a more interesting case is the one of electric field equal to zero and magnetic field that is uniform and along the z direction. Then in this case we have a number of uh, constant of motion. For example, the velocity in the z direction is a constant of motion. The kinetic energy of the particles and then if you look at the particle orbits you find that Vy plus uh, Qs B0 Ms times x and uh, Vx minus Qs B0 over Ms Y these are all constant of motion which implies that any function of Vz, V square, Vy plus Qs, B0 over Ms x, and similarly Vx minus Qs P0 over Ms y is solution of Vlasov. Let me make a couple of observations. The first observation is uh, that uh, the behavior of the Vlasov equation is fairly different than the one that one can expect from uh, the Boltzmann equation. where because of the presence of collision in Boltzmann equation, we expect that uh, only the Maxwellian distribution function is a stationary solution. Here in Vlasov things are very different because whatever function of, for example, in this case of Vx, Vy and Vz is a solution of Vlasov. Therefore, can be very far from the thermodynamic equilibrium. Second thing to notice is that in general it's very difficult to find the constant of motion. In realistic cases, the one that are of interest uh, to us for practical applications. Here we are at the end of this lecture. What we have done was to derive uh, from Boltzmann equation, Vlasov equation, that is done simply by neglecting the collision operator that is present in Vlasov equation. And uh, then what we have done was to, to study and to look at the properties of the evolution of the distribution function in phase space. We have derived uh, one conservation law, the conservation of the total number of particles. There are other conservation law that I have just uh, stated, the one of momentum, energy, and the conservation of entropy. It takes a bit, uh, I leave it as exercise uh, to, to, to do that. It's an interesting calculation to do. 
uh, by yourself uh, if you would like. But uh, let me point out that, uh, that Vlasov equation has, uh, has these nice properties. And then what we have done is to provide some in new interpretation, some interpretation of the Vlasov equation, which have actually allow us to do to find the formal solution of uh, of Vlasov equation. Unfortunately, formal solution don't work in uh, the case of practical interest, and therefore one has to to solve a Vlasov equation or in general a kinetic equation uh, by using a numerical approach. <coughs> 